Christmas time. I'm in this terrible joint, man. It's like it's like con two. There's there's this one corner in the middle of the, there's a day room. You know the day room is where people sit around in the daytime if you're not locked in, right? And, and there's two big cement walls that come together and a place where there was bars and then there had been a window, but the window had long ago been broken out. There was just bars with a lot of cold air blowing in and newspaper partly over it. And then in that corner was a Christmas tree with a little bed sheet around the bottom. And it was just, it was just like tilted over and stuff. And it was just, I mean, we used to walk by that thing, man. It was, this, this was a very bad place. They had just recently put toilets in it. Do you understand me? There was like crap all over the floors anyway, because only two of the toilets worked. <laughs> and there were 160 men in there, so. You wind up, you know, tough, kind of very finding. tough place, and and there's this stupid little Christmas tree sitting there, and I'm like, what's that supposed to mean, you know? And then on like Christmas Eve, I didn't even want to think about any of this. Anyway, I'm Jewish, you know, and the women's auxiliary comes in, the guards, William wives, you know, come in there. Well, it's cold as hell in there, you know, because it's all these broken windows. So they come in there, and all these women got on these big overcoats. We are required to wear T-shirts and khakis and tennis shoes. That's it, baby, you know? And it was cold in there. A few of us had got our hands on some blankets and shit, but, I mean, that was pretty much the name of the game. Here. So we're sitting there, and they, we are forced to go out and listen to these women sing songs next to this little broken Christmas tree. And we're sitting there now. This is what I meant about cynicism, man. I, man, I was like, <laughs> give me a break, man. Who are these people, man? How can they like stand here in the middle of all of it with this feces on the floor and stuff, man? And they're like, you know, giving a silent night, man. You know, it was uh, unbelievable to me. Then. They handed out Christmas stockings. Well, this was great. Everybody can use a few extra cigarettes, right? They had like four cigarettes in there, one of those little itty bitty sample packs, and uh, some aftershave, and a tangerine, and a few little pieces of candy. Everybody in the whole place had exactly the same thought when we looked in those little net stockings. Who is going to wind up with the aftershave lotion? Stuff's about 40% alcohol, or better, actually. And so that was the big question, and everybody was waiting for those women to get the hell out of there so we could start fighting. So they finished up their songs and wished us all Merry Christmas. And we're all looking at each other to see who's like, gonna be better than who man and how are we gonna get do this without the guards like being forced to get out of line you know and actually we did it in the dormitories man we kind of everybody started ambling towards the dormitories and the guys who didn't want to go we knew they were gonna get it got kind of jockeyed along in the crowd, you know, like, yeah, come on, baby, you know. <laughs> got up a lot of people, got the shit beat out of them, you know. It was quite a mess. I was on the winning side, by the way. I wound up with quite a number of bottles of aftershave lotion. We had a little party down in our dorm. Got drunk as hell on that stuff just smelled terrible in the morning <laughs> burping up this stuff but you know that's what do you see what my point is though it was like what were they doing in there with that cheerful nonsense it was it didn't have anything to do with our lives our lives had to do with maybe getting kicked to death trying to get out of bed in the morning or something you know